If you wish to make changes to an app in your Salesforce organization, you can access a list of all of your apps via the App Manager. And clicking on App Manager in the Setup menu brings up the Lightning Experience App Manager. It lists all of the apps in your org, the description, and the app type, whether that's a classic app, a Lightning app, a community app, etc. Now, a few things of note and some points of confusion is the difference between the service and the service console applications. You'll notice that the service application is a classic app. Service console is a Lightning application. But oftentimes you can access a classic app inside of Lightning. It just was created in classic. So if I click on the service application, this would be the non-console service app. Here is what that looks like. And you can still perform the actions of uh, closing cases, working with cases inside the service application. Same experience here for Service Console, but a little different look and feel as far as it being a console application. And I've got several different items here at the bottom, History, Notes, and Omnichannel. And so if I wanted to make changes to this particular application, the Service Console, what I can do, go back into Setup and go to the App Manager. And so let's say that I want to change some things around with the service console. I can do so by finding it in the list here and clicking the down arrow and selecting edit. And this opens up the Lightning App Builder for the different app settings for this particular app. So I could rename it. I could change the description. I could add a custom image for branding, change uh, primary color. And then you've got your different steps in your app settings. Now, one thing of note is that you can't change back and forth between the navigation styles. So you need to think about what sort of navigation you want, whether you want console or standard as well. You can't change the setup experience either. There's some things that are grayed out. But I noted previously at the bottom of the screen, those are known as utility items. Those are desktop only. So if you wanted to uh, add or remove some of these, you could do so if you wanted to reorder. And then one quick note on notes is that for notes to work inside of your console application on desktop, you need to have notes enabled in your org. Salesforce doesn't warn you about this. You can add notes to a utility item in an app, but it doesn't tell you, hey, you need to activate notes in your org. So you just need to know that. So a quick little pro tip there for you. I want to cancel and save my changes so far. And I removed Omnichannel and reordered the other two items in my utility items. And then you can go through the rest of the process of changing your navigation items, your navigation rules as far as tabs or sub tabs for your different open records, and as well any user profiles that you wish to have access to this particular app. So that's the app setting via the Lightning App Builder. Let's go back though. That returns us to our Lightning Experience App Manager. And once again, I changed the Service Console application. So if I open up Service Console now, we should pull in the latest changes to our org for that app that I made. And now whenever we pull up Service Console, you notice the Omni Channel is missing and Notes is the first, History is the second. And as I mentioned, be sure and enable Notes if you want to see those inside of your console application. And so that's a quick tour of some of the functionality you can find with the Lightning Experience App Manager as far as editing existing Lightning apps and even classic apps as well. And so what happens whenever you edit a classic application such as the service classic app, I'll click edit, you get the more classic feel here. It's not in the Lightning App Builder, but instead you can adjust available tabs, default landing tab, as well as signing profiles here. So this is kind of framed in classic experience inside of Lightning. All right, so just to be clear, you can make edits to your apps via the app manager without having to leave lightning, which is nice. So there you have it. If you found this Salesforce tutorial helpful, please do like and subscribe. And please do leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn in Salesforce next. I just might make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.